Tuesday was a slower day in the Big Brother house, but we still have some things to talk about. We're going to start with the Royal Family Alliance. It is an eight-person alliance that consists of the Queens and the Kings plus Derek X. It is uh, an annoying alliance because it's eight people, and I don't like big alliances, but with this alliance, it is the basically an alliance for everybody to try and push their own agendas and having a hard time actually agreeing to something. Because there are a lot of agendas going on in that house right now. They had a, a meeting very early in the morning of Tuesday morning. All eight of them. Don't know how they explained that to everybody else, but they did. It basically became uh, the Queens trying to put a target on Whitney. And then Alyssa and Christian kind of seeing more Aza. Derek X pushing Derek F. And Derek X more so really pushing that maybe they should throw it to Whitney or Hannah, his teammates, because he really wants someone to take a shot at the boring showmans of Christian and Alyssa. And then meanwhile, Sarah Beth trying to push Hannah, which of course Derek X is not going to go for. So everybody pushing different agendas, although they ended up agreeing to throw it to Alyssa for now, because she said she would put up Whitney and Aza. I mean, she keeps changing her mind, though. I think she wants to target Aza, mostly because Aza is one of the people who have caught Christian and Alyssa kissing. But they don't hide their showmans anyway. They're always together at least six or seven hours of the day. They're together one-on-one. -on -one, and they're probably more together hours of the day in groups. So, yeah. But after this talk... Eric X tries to talk some sense into the Queens, that being Claire Tiffany and Kyland. He's saying they need to keep players like Hannah, Aza, and Brittany around to take shots at the Kings. That's why he wants Derek F to be the next target. But nobody's going for that because they see that, or they're saying they don't think Derek F's ever going to win the challenge. Which is stupid because half of Big Brother comps are crapshoots. The Queens somewhat listen. I mean, Tiffany's trying to listen. Claire and Kylan, not so much about Derek X's idea. And I, I, I think Kylan sees Whitney as the person who needs to go for his game because he's pretty good with everybody else. I mean, he's good with Whitney too, but Whitney is targeting people that he works with like Sarah Beth. So all in all, I don't think a lot was accomplished with the Royal family or the Queens and Derek X. But that led to more today and what has become quite the power struggle between Kylan, Tiffany, and Derek X all want to do and push their own agenda for what is best for their game. There comes a point in the day where Kylan um, tells Derek X that Tiffany doesn't think Aza would vote for her in jury if she made the end, which gives Derek X all the more reason to want to keep Aza around. And then he talks to Tiffany and tells Tiffany that he told Derek X this to reveal. And I mean, in a way, kind of pit them against each other a little bit. So while this power struggle is going on, I mean, it's been clear for the past, since Kylan won HOH, that he has definitely started running the game. So it's really not a struggle. I think Kylan is running the game because he's able to connect with a lot of people. He's able to keep the power players that are also in this game on his side for now. 
He's definitely still very messy about it, though. And he's messy because he's a very paranoid player. Kylan is super paranoid. Always, when he's in a conversation in a room, he has to check the door to make sure nobody's listening. He does this constantly. But one interesting thing Kylan did give Tiffany is reveal that he knows about the alliance between Tiffany, Claire, and Sarah Beth, alluding to the fact that Sarah Beth is the one that told him so much for his loyalty to his duo, Sarah Beth, with Tiffany. But I just see it as more of Kylan subtly pitting people against each other. It also gives me all the more reason to continue to see Sarah Beth as a very overrated player. She can push her targets all she wants, but she just has no agency in this game, like I have said before. And I just think otherwise, he has all, Sarah Beth has all of her eggs in Kylan's basket. Now, there was a point in the night where Sarah Beth did tell Tiffany and Claire that she, she, she thinks Kylan and uh, Xavier are close to try and put a, something in that direction. Don't think those are the two to go for it, but... <sighs> I still do think Sarah Beth has nobody in this game, and it's still just fodder at some point soon, honestly. Like, she's safe, unless Whitney stays in the game. I think Whitney might, you know, put her up. Whitney's the only one that really has Sarah Beth's name in her mouth. But I still just feel like Sarah Beth is an easy cut down the line because nobody's attached to her, especially at the cookout. Even our five strong at injury. Now, I do think Tiffany has started to finally come back around to the cookout. <laughs> I don't know. I just, oh my God. It's so hard to understand Tiffany's game. I still don't know what happened so fast. Well, I do know what happened. Her and Claire, being the super fans that they are, to have just been overplaying every single fucking day. But I think for a lot of these duos in the house, when they're away from their duo, they start to think more clearly. Like when Oz is away from Brittany, she's able to be the good social player she started out as. And when Tiffany's away from Claire, she's able to start to just come and be a little more rational in her thinking rather than overthinking. And when Claire's away from Tiffany, well, she's a lost fucking puppy, really, because Claire has no game of her own. The one thing Claire does still have going for her, and it's the only thing she's doing in this fucking game, is having doubts about Kylan. And she does talk to this about Tiffany, but Tiffany is so on board with Kylan. That is her final two right now. And Kylan's good at get, getting information from everybody, but especially from Tiffany. And he's already started to use people's information to turn people against each other. I really am impressed with the game Kylan has started to play. I still think he has easy downfalls, and that being his paranoia and possibly emotions in the future. As for Derek X and his crusade, I don't know what else he can really do. <sighs> like, he hints things to Hannah, but Hannah doesn't listen. I think it's very bad that Hannah... Hannah sees things her own way, and I guess... In some ways, it's good for her game. She's playing her own game, but she has a major blind spot, like a lot of people, for whatever reason. Have a blind spot with this fucking showman's. Alyssa and Christian, she thinks she can control Christian's thinking right now, when really the only person Christian's going to listen to is Alyssa. And so Hannah does not get Derek X's hints about some of the things he tries to tell them to push, to just let Hannah find out about the royal flush. But he sometimes I think he should just straight up tell her this. But then on the other hand, I get why he doesn't just tell her this, because Hannah can sometimes talk a little too much with people in the game. And I think Derek X thinks that Hannah's really close to Tiffany, and so he doesn't want that getting back to Tiffany. 
like that is the hierarchy in the power structure right now is Kylan running most people. And then Tiffany has her little minions of, I mean, it's really just Claire, but she thinks she can control Derek X as well. Although I think she's starting to realize he's not really as controllable as she was hoping, which is why she wants to keep Christian around because she thinks she could control Christian. That's not going to happen with Alyssa still in the game. And then when Claire and Tiffany get to talking tonight, Tuesday night, these two cannot help themselves but overthink every goddamn thing. Every day It's just, let's run all over all these fucking scenarios every fucking day. And they have bad reads of these days. It's crazy. The first 10 days, Tiffany was just so on everything. She figured out the big alliance, which has not been done in Big Brother in a long fucking time once she figured out the slaughterhouse. If ever. Has that ever been done in Big Brother? Figuring out everybody in an alliance. Certainly not that early in the game within the first 10 days. But then these, these next nine days going on 10, Tiffany and Claire do not have good reads. They're so, so in on this showmance right now, thinking just because the Kings are good at competitions that they should work with the team that's good at competitions. And my thing is, when I play orgs, And I know orgs are different than being in that house and being stressed out. But still, when you're playing orgs, I feel like if you're getting into alliance and an, into an alliance, it needs to be with people that you really want to fuck with. I mean, like, I'm different. I hate big alliances. So I rarely actually get into big alliances and games that I have played. I prefer like to get in trio with two people. Either a trio with two people that I trust a lot or really want to work with, or I do separate duos with two separate people that I really want to fuck with. But getting into alliances with people that you don't trust or that you're just trying to control, it's crazy for me. That is all that the queens do, including Kylan, is just push people into alliances, even though they don't want to really be in those alliances. They continue to do it with Derek X. Of course, Claire and Tiffany's latest solution of the day was, hey, let's make yet another fucking alliance. They were pondering making an alliance with Derek X, Sarah Beth, and Alyssa. Although Derek X keeps telling them he wants to be in an alliance with Hannah. Because they keep trying to put Derek X into these alliances with people he doesn't work with. Just because they're all in these alliances with people they work with. I don't see the disconnect that (laughs) Claire and Tiffany are failing miserably these last nine days going on ten. Then there's Brent. Oh, dumb ass Brent. This fucking cracker still thinks he's running the game from the block. He thinks he set in this great plan into motion on Monday night, where he thinks him and Alyssa are like this. He really thinks he has Alyssa still wrapped around his finger. Somehow he does not realize that the whole house is in on this plan against him. So he thinks he had Alyssa talk Christian into not using the veto because Brent wants to blindside Xavier when Brittany is voted out of the game. Brent really thinks he is playing Big Brother 21 when the white douchebags ran the game. Because this is what happens usually on Big Brother and Brent is like, living in the twilight zone right now he thinks he's in big brother 21 but he's not everybody knows about this plan against him and it could be the biggest true blind sight in a long while on this fucking show we don't get blind sides like this on big brother us anyway don't get blind sides like this often So hopefully nobody fucks it up and tells him right before the goddamn vote on Thursday. 
Uh, lastly, I'll talk about Big D. I don't know. Big D just continues to grow on me. He does. Uh, shout out to Kevin Nelson. He's been in the comments on a lot of these videos. Uh, shout out to everybody who's been commenting. Thank you for commenting, commenting and watching my ranting and my raving and my nonsense that I do. But he was talking about, Kevin was talking about uh, Big D being lazy, because that is the narrative that's been going on this whole season, because he's always on his bed. But see, Derek F. was definitely a lazy player, and yes, he's on his bed a lot, but Derek F. is the person that cleans the most in the house, and I think you should get some credit for that. I don't think we need to call him completely lazy when... He does some of the cooking. I mean, Ozzy does most of the cooking, and then Derek X does a lot of cooking. But he does some of the cooking, and he does a lot of the cleaning. The only people that help with the cleaning often is, like, Hannah and um, maybe Tiffany sometimes. But a lot of the people in the house do not clean up after themselves. So, I don't know. I think I might start running. I like to take the opposite approach than a lot of people on these goddamn podcasts and online in case you can't tell everybody's like oh pro tiffany anti aza i feel the opposite in case you haven't noticed and i feel like i might have to just start gassing up big d it might have to happen I'm sorry kevin i'm sorry to big d haters it might have to happen <laughs> all right that's all i got tonight <laughs>